Morning everyone, welcome back to a new video uh, back on the garden house build today and I'm going to complete the plaster in here and I'll show you guys what um, what the plaster really looks like what I did the other day and um, yeah let's get on with it so this is what it's looking like at the moment as you can see it's drying out now left wall here back wall this wall here as well and obviously the ceiling it feels good so yeah we just let this dry um next week we come down and uh, paint this so obviously i've got this wall here to do um or some angle beads to do around the door as well so i'll get that done also there is a little bit of block work here to do which i'll show you not much just literally uh well, there's going to be one row of block blocks on here to do so i just picked up some blocks and we're going to lay a row of blocks along the top here and that will be it so the consumer unit is going to end up here and the uh, electrician is going to run an armored through the house and down the wall and they're going to enter in the corner here and the armored is going to come up here across to the board here and there's going to be another light switch here for a fluorescent light in here and then there'll be another socket somewhere here as well So I'm going to mix my last uh, batch up with what I've got. I've got about three quarter bag there. Should be enough to do this wall. Better be enough. Um, so I'm going to quickly do this one and um, and then we are finished plastering. So firstly, let's get this angle bead fitted. I just dropped some bits in my mix, tried to clean it out. Hopefully I should be all right. Uh, I haven't got any more plaster, so you'll have to do. I should be good, but I might be picking bits out here and there.
And as I said before, I made this mix a bit stiffer. Um, and I know many people have asked, oh, can you do this in one coat or do it in two coats? Um, ideally, you do it in two. However, you can do one if you know what you're doing. For instance, what I do around here, uh, around there, I don't put two coats. I put one, but you put it on thick, a little bit more stiff. And... You know what you're doing you can flat it down and I've done the same for this smaller wall I put it on quite thick um, so it's basically the depth of two cork so as it's a small area I can manage get in one cork um, you just kind of have to know how to deal with it but I would say generally doing two coats. I'll definitely do two coats if it was a larger. Or when you say two coats, it's really, depends how people explain it. It's actually, it is one coat, a one coat system, but you do it in two passes, if that makes sense. You build up the thickness. Um, and as I said, depending on the area or the size of the area, you can get away with doing the two passes in one go. Just put it on thicker, a bit more stiff. Um, you've got to know what you're doing. You know? Okay. And this way it just saves me a bit of time. So um, I've got this on, flatten it down, see if you can see what it looks like. So I've given it flat one, flattened down. It's quite hard to see very well in here because of the lights, but you might get an idea. And round to there. I've also done this side of the reveal, but I run out of plaster, unfortunately. So I do need to go and get some more just to do the top and right hand side of the door. So that's a shame, but happens sometimes. I thought I'd have enough, but I didn't. Um, so let this set off a little bit, another 10 minutes, and then I'll uh, start polishing it. And then um, I'll have to go and get some more to do that little bit. So now I'm just using the uh, Ultraflex. It's made by Ox or OX.
So we'll probably paint here by mid next week. Give it the weekend and a couple of days and it should be good to go. When we paint it, what we do is we give it a mist coat, which will be a watered down white emulsion, matte emulsion. Um, we always do that first, let that dry, and then we give it two coats. Um, I think we're doing white in here. So um, once it gets its two coats on top of the mist coat, it will really pop off. Then what we'll do is we're putting a laminate floor down on the floor and then we'll put a skirting board and then we'll paint the skirting boards and that will be white as well. Okay, so we, we're almost there, really, now. You can see. It's all nice and straight. Nice and flat. Just cleaned up some edges. I've just done the top and side now. So, just need to give it one more polish. And then um, I'll be happy with it. Yes, yeah, looking good.
so our room is done now fully complete again the light's terrible in here but it's not really showing up very well on the cam but i'll see if i can a bit more close up for you so i'm happy with that all we've got to do is let this dry and um, next week come back and paint it all up yeah guys as usual thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something uh, if you're trying to learn something and uh, if you've got any questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer best of my knowledge and thanks again for all you guys support and for all the likes comments and those of you who subscribe and as we said we're trying to hit 10,000 by the end of this month we believe we can do it so if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video take care